five cubes drawn on isometric paper and then we're drawing on normal square paper the view from above so let me just talk about that a little bit more it's gonna if i'm looking from above i see these squares here i wouldn't actually see any of the rest of it so you can see yep they're the same here so if i'm drawing this one okay i've got a base of three and then it's going up by two in the middle so here is what i'd see from the top so it's actually going to be a rectangle um if we just look at the orientation i think it's going to be going down because uh, they've like because if i if i look at the one that they've done so we should draw the squares in just to sh highlight them i think you get the mark if you draw it horizontally but i think that's what it should look like and then finally we're given this view from above it's actually called the plan sometimes and now we're being asked to draw isometric drawing. Very tough if you've not done it before. Actually, still tough, I think, if you've done it a lot of it. I find this quite a, a challenging skill. My recommendation is to kind of start from the right-hand side and work to the left because you're going to be able to see, you can see on the left, you don't. You only see a bit of this cube, whereas you see all of the bit on the right because all of it's exposed. So let's let's go with that and see what happens. And it, sometimes, like, work in pencil because sometimes you might have to rub it out. Give this a go. Try and draw a square to start with, I reckon. Sorry, a cube, I should have said. So there we go, there's a cube. And I think what I've tried to do is that one there. So if it's then coming down, oh no, actually I'm gonna have it go in. Yeah, I'm gonna have it go in that way. Okay, I might need to modify this slightly actually. So that's okay. That won't be seen. That wouldn't have been seen in there. As I said, it takes a bit of practice. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I've got these two in a row, and then I'm going to go the other way. So it's going to carry on going this way. And then it goes that way one more. It's coming together now. Oh, not there. That was that was fine. Okay, and then it's going to come back towards me. And now again, I'm going to have to modify this slightly. It's okay to like rub it out and then you know sort it out, but that won't be seen, and that wouldn't have been seen. Okay, pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, you can see the Z going on and it's the right orientation. So it's really hard to kind of teach that as a skill. I think just practice it. Maybe don't be afraid of rubbing things out. Try and start from the right, work your way to the left. Obviously this bit is quite exposed, but you know, some of those back were less so. Another accepted answer, so I just drew this one at the bottom. Another accepted answer is to go that way. Um, and the others are accepted, but those are technically the, the correct the best orientation.